Chris writes us, and it, it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting question and statement. In episode thirty one, I asked about the complementary benefits of the push up to the HKC three goblet squat swing Turkish get up, and you emphasized that they are that they are a legit push. I noticed this difference right away. Uh, I have experimented with adding either a single one two three ladder both sides of kettlebell clean and press or a single set of as many push-ups at the end of my usual training. I really enjoyed the clean and press. It feels tonic to my shoulders in a way that the get-up alone doesn't, and it gets the synovial fluid moving in a manner similar to the goblet squat. Uh, boy, I, I'm, I'm stopping here in the middle, but I hear you, Chris. Uh, when I was getting ready for the RKC back in 2007 or 6 or 8, whatever it was, I would do the rite of passage, and there's that one workout where you do clean and press, uh, it ends up being 75 reps left hand, uh, 75 reps right hand, plus 75 pull-ups. What I be, The thing I noticed the most is that, I mean, I felt good from basically my quads to my neck, my knees to my neck felt good. Like I had been, like you said, the synovial feel it. I felt the lymphatic system, like I, I felt like I was being pumped with goodness. So I agree with you 100%. Back to Chris. I thought that my get-up strength would carry over to the push-up, but boy, was I wrong. Yeah, people who say that the Turkish get-up increases your press, I I respect a lot of the people who say that, and I listen to them, and I look at it, but I haven't experienced that as a coach or myself. So I agree with you there. The push-up felt less like an upper body push and more like groundwork and abdominal work uh, uh, like the inchworm. After the swings and get-ups, it took all my effort to keep it pretty. Uh, that's a good point. You know, if I can just add one thing, Chris, I don't know if you know my uh, my work on this, but uh, Dan Martin named it, but it's called the Humane Burpee. And I, I, got, I think it's my one-stop shop. Uh, in fact, if you type in Dan John Humane Burpee, I'm sure you'll get, you know, all the options I use. If you go to danjohn.net and you type in Coyote Point Kettlebell Club, you'll get all kinds of swing push-up variations. Um, but the the Humane Burpee, the original, is 15 swings, 10 goblet squats, 10 push-ups. 15 swings, 9 goblet squats, 9 push-ups. 15 swings, 8-8, eight, eight, 15 seven, seven, and then all the way down 1-1. One, one. You end up with 150 swings, 55 goblet squats, and 55 push-ups. You get once you get past seven, it's not so bad. But I'll be honest, seven is a tough round because the reps are still pretty high. Once you get five, four, three, two, one, it's really it, it's still hard. But it's like the big numbers are behind you. I've had people tell me they're going to do this thing where they're going to do 20, 19, 18. It's like you know, just just do the original first. Um, you can knock that workout down pretty quickly over time. I, I don't want to give you a number because I don't want you racing through it, but you'll be surprised that if you just, I mean, and, and don't go crazy, but if you have a stopwatch or a timer or something like that, time it the first time. And then, you know, when you do it again, maybe a week from there or a few days from now, uh, time it again. And you will notice that you, you, you get done quite a bit faster. Uh, I do feel it's okay to stop and rest during it at, when you first do it, but if you can go straight through, I think that's quite uh, uh, that's quite impressive. So, Chris, thank you for the feedback, and uh, let's keep this discussion going. Thank you. <laughs>